Everybody. This is Matteo from ProFlamenco. Welcome to my class. Today I would like to uh, talk a little bit uh, about a very popular uh, flamenco chord progression, a progression of chords uh, um, often called the Andalusian cadence. Uh, and this uh, progression of chords is used in flamenco very often, but also in different musical styles, in different musical genres. So, um, I would like to uh, invite to this lesson all of you guitarists, no matter uh, if you are playing a flamenco guitar or uh, acoustic guitar, uh, classical guitar, uh, blues music, jazz music, rock music, um, because I would like to show some uh, cool aspects of this of using this uh, flamenco chord progression uh, in uh, using using the guitar, yes. Yeah? So applying this progression into the guitar using uh, strumming, using arpeggios, using uh, uh, picking with a guitar pick. I would like to show you some cool uh, leaks, some interesting stuff. So yeah, uh, prepare, take your guitar and uh, focus. Let's continue with me. Let's start. So today. Uh, I would like to focus on the key A minor or E Phrygian, depending how we look into this key, into the, into the harmony. Uh, so uh, in this progression of chords we have four chords. The first chord is A minor. The second chord is G major. The third chord is F major. And the fourth chord is E major. So now I would like to show you different ways of uh, playing these chords on your guitar. So let's start with the bar chords. This is the first way to play. So we, we play this progression of chords like this. A minor, G major, F major and E major. This is the basic way of playing these chords. Some uh, variation on playing these bar chords will be uh, playing instead of G major, playing G7, for example. So you just remove your fourth finger and the same way in F. F, F7, leading to E. You can also play E uh, with uh, minor ninth, so with the F note, resulting in a typical Spanish sound. You can also uh, add a minor seven with the fourth finger, yeah? This will sound like this. Another way to play uh, this progression of chords in this way as bar chords is to open the so is to play A minor like this, and then you open the bar. So you just put your first finger here on the sixth string and keep the second and the first string open. So this will result in this chord. The same way to play an F chord and then leading again to E. So now so, so, some cool advice to add a little bit of ornamentation in these chords would be to 
when you are playing, for example, strumming pattern, then you can you can add so like so we are playing G7 chord and you are adding uh, you are adding the fourth with suspending fourth with the with your fourth finger here and the same way on F and then leading to E and you can also suspend the E with the with the fourth so with your fourth finger yeah so this is some 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 cool stuff you can add to your accompaniment to the rhythm to the rhythm guitar yeah so it is it is it is very cool way to to add it to this cadence so if you are playing for example in a band or in a guitar duo or in a guitar trio and one of you is playing in this position and you you are in a band for example and the second guitar the second rhythm guitar uh, is needed yeah so uh, you can play the same chords bar but here in different voicing yeah so you can play a minor like this you can play then g7 f7 and e7 yeah so then in instead of playing g7 uh, you can also play a clean g major chord for example here then f also f major and then e major the same so this is another way to to play it on the guitar so now some cool advice for those of you who don't necessarily want to struggle with bar records. So you can play this uh, flamenco chord progression without using bar records. So now I would like to show you some cool, uh, quite easy chords, or some of them are very easy chords with different uh, variations to, to like experiment with the sound, yeah? To add different, uh, different notes to the chords making them sound more interesting, yeah? So, the easiest way to play uh, the, the, the first chord from this cadence, the A minor, is, is this chord, yeah? A minor. Then you can play A minor 7 by removing your third finger, yeah? You're removing your uh, third finger from the string. So this is A, A minor 7. You can also play. You can also play A, mi uh, A minor with added uh, minor uh, with added major ninth. Sorry. Yeah. So the B, B note. Then we move to the to the second chord. Yeah. So we move to the G major. You can play a very easy G major with open uh, strings, uh, so only just putting your two fingers and then open strings. This will resu result in G6, yeah? Also very cool sound. You can play G7 in this way. Or in this way or in this way. Uh, then another way to play G chord is to play this shape. Then you have G6 and add it major 9. So, uh, then we move to the F major chord. Another way to play uh, F chord, F major chord, is that uh, you can play it uh, the same way as uh, um, E major, but you move one fret up. So this will result in this chord. <laughs> 
So if you don't want to struggle with the barricades, then uh, you can make this a simple trick that it's very easy, yeah? So you, you, you don't have to, to play you don't have to play the barricord, yeah? Another way to simply play the F uh, chord is this way. This is F uh, major 7, yeah? Only free finger. And then you move again to the E. Depending what sound you would like to get. So, if you are interested uh, more in uh, jazz music, in some world music, uh, then, for example, you can use this flamenco chord progression, but a little bit more in the jazzy style. So, you can, for example, play A minor like this, for example. This is the A minor chord with minor 6, yeah. Then G, you can play, for example, G7, but with added major 9 and you add it in the bass then for example playing F uh, in this shape for example so this is F7 with added major 9 also you can play the, the third in the bass so you can play E for example then in this way uh, very, uh, uh, it is a very popular chord, uh, often used by Jimi Hendrix in this shape on the guitar, but you can also play it in this shape. Uh, some of musicians say that this is an uh, E chord with two thirds, one minor, one minor and one major. Um, some of them also say that this is an E major chord, E7 with alternated ninth, yeah? So you can play it this way, in this progression. So then you, you have, you got this chord, F, F7, added ninth, and you move it to, to this chord. So this is a very, so this is an example of voicing you can, you can make with your band when you are playing a different genre than, uh, than flamenco, for example. So now I would like to tell you some cool advice about applying this flamenco chord progression into your guitar playing. So for example, if you are playing solo or uh, if you are playing with a band, uh, you don't necessarily have to, to make the strumming, yeah? different strumming with your hand uh, when you are playing the rhythm guitar in a band. You can also make some very cool different stuff stuffs that will result uh, in um, making the composition better with your guitar playing, yes? Yeah? So making the band uh, sound more interesting with, with the way you play the guitar. So you just don't have to, you, you don't have to just make the strummings, but you have, uh, you can make uh, different patterns with, with, with the guitar, yeah? So for example, you can play like in a more power chord way in this progression. So, for example, you can play... Yes, yeah, so we are playing a power chord, for example. So when you are playing different styles than flamenco, then you can use it in this way. Another way to use this flamenco chord progression is to make some, some arpeggios, yeah? You can make these arpeggios with, uh, with your fingers, but also when you are playing classical or flamenco guitar, you can make it with the thumb, for example. example with the thumb. This is the in other way. These all musical varieties of playing the rhythm guitar, different techniques, 
can result in a um, very interesting musical way of playing. So you can build up the tension, yeah? So for example, if you have a um, composition with this uh, flamenco chord progression, you can build up the tension using different techniques, yeah? So for example, you can start the tune by just arpeggios with the thump like this. So this is just an example uh, that can help you to sound better, for example, in a band. So you can use this chord progression in many different ways playing uh, the guitar. So now, if you are playing with the guitar pick, for example, acoustic guitar or electric guitar, you can also play uh, like having in mind this progression of chords by, 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 but using single notes. So when you are playing a, in a band, for example, and the piano make the, the accompaniment in, in the full chords, then you can just play with the pick, for example, on the fourth string, and you can play like one, two, three, four. For example, so the last thing I wanted to show you in this video is that you can combine the melody playing uh, with the chord playing, yeah? So especially when you are, uh, for example, when you want to play solo on the classical guitar or flamenco guitar, you just think up a melody in this chord progression. So for example... So then you can add For example, yes, yeah? so you are playing You add the chord then Then So to sum up this lesson, what I wanted to say today and what the aim of this lesson is, is that I wanted to encourage you to apply, to apply these uh, different guitar techniques uh, in different ways in order to create your own music. Because at the end, the thing is to develop your guitar skill in order to create music in order to have fun with the music, to enjoy making music. So look how many possibilities we have uh, in, in using the, this um, flamenco chord progression, yeah? So we have different ways of using it on the guitar. And trust me, uh, I've only showed you some basic uh, skills using this chord progression and there are many many different ways of using it so i encourage you to explore to uh, to to discover the fretboard and different ways of you uh, different ways to use it so you can use these four chords with uh, by using strumming by using picking with the guitar by using arpeggios, thumb arpeggios, finger arpeggios, uh, by using solos, melody solos. So you can use it in many different ways. And uh, that's what I wanted to show you in today's lesson. So that's it. Well done. You made a really good job. I'm proud of you. I hope that uh, everything is clear. Uh, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me uh, in the comment, I will answer all of your questions. Uh, thank you for your watching and thank you for your presence. 
Uh, if you are interested in flamenco guitar lessons, in Spanish guitar lessons, uh, do not forget to subscribe. Uh, I will post uh, some cool uh, flamenco guitar lessons, Spanish guitar lessons, two times a week. Uh, so I am waiting for your presence once again. Thank you for watching and we see in the next lesson. Goodbye.